Been too long since we busted the old broom out, but we did it last night. 3-0 sweep on the show. Probably the most profitable 3-0 sweep we've ever had because we had Kate Otten anytime touchdown at plus 220. Mark Zeno, if you go back in the archives, with an exceptional breakdown on Celtics team total over, including why it got a little hairy at the end there. He predicted it would get hairy at the end, and it did for the reasons he laid out. And then, Mark, I will let you go off in one second. But first, I must talk about a classic Brian Power play with the Milwaukee Bucks, plus seven and a half against the Cavs. Uh, no Giannis, no problem. They cash it. People hated it in the comments section, so I knew it was going to you know, do well. Please comment down below with your thoughts on yesterday's 3-0 sweep. Uh, yeah, look, uh, I, I appreciate you stroking yourself for the Morning Wager audience. Um, and I know you enjoy doing it because, folks, in case you haven't figured out, Brian Power is the sensitive little bitch who reads the comments. And then when he gets it right, loves to rub it back in everybody's face. And I love that about him. So. Uh, I appreciate you doing so. Yes, because I got the notification for Brian yesterday. God, everybody hates the Bucks picks. Oh, it's going to hit now, and I'm going to be so happy. And it did. So good. Glad we got a three, you know, sweep. Uh, it was uh, more of a sweat than I wanted to. Man, look, when the Boston Celtics needed just 20 points in the fourth quarter to cast this thing, and it was I, – I still have flashbacks from last year with the Washington Wizards team total, right? Remember that one? That oh, awful yes, one that yes, yes. The one that I tweeted yes. about that went viral and people started making videos of. I'm like, this is not going to happen again. I'm like, it's 413. There's four and a half minutes left. I'm like, they need five points. And then there's like two minutes left. I'm like, they still need five points. I'm like, oh my God, they're not going to do this. They did it. Thank God. Barely. But hey, let's take the three and no sweep and enjoy it. It's good times. And K dot and baby plus 220. That is our guys. Three straight. Now it's four, actually four straight Monday night props that we've hit. With three consecutive anytime touchdown props. So tune in Mondays because we end up giving you guys some good Monday night football stuff. Couple I think we're quick. better than 66% over oh, the okay. last Let's not. Four Let's get Monday into night. That. I'm sorry. Let's, a few things here. Uh, number one, I didn't really care for some of the things you had to say about me before that last diatribe. Number two, I notice you, you know, when you, pro when you promote yourself, when you promote things, what? it's okay. I, I promote like myself. That. You literally just said, you literally just said, we're three and all on the show with any time touchdown props. So check out the morning we. wager. We, I'm not sitting here stroking oh. myself. We, a collective show. It is a unified effort between the both of us and Dan Alexander and Joe Ranieri. <laughs> hey, all right, put it down. Stop. <laughs> okay. We, we. We, I'm I'm unifying. You are singular. Oh, I apologize. That's the problem. You know, like one time you went on Wager Talk last call on Saturday and pumped up my my uh, my my play on Wager Talk. Uh, that was that was a very nice of you. That was a we, and it won. That was a we. It was good. Start being more we oriented. When I go on Wager Talk last call this Saturday, I will make sure there's a we. Why didn't you just tell me that was the problem? Okay. Let's talk about this fine card that we've got on Tuesday. No NBA, uh, but there is a little bit of college basketball. And Maction, as you know, Mark, this will be the one last mm -hmm. time I say something nice about myself. I am probably uh, one of the seven or eight most famous Mac graduates uh, in yeah. the United States of America. So I'll be talking about Maction in just a little bit. But you are going to take us to the fine world of college hoops, which tipped off last night and boy do you have a doozy here with cal poly and san francisco uh, but you found an angle that you think the people need to bet on look uh if you're not into uh big sky and big uh, big big west sorry and uh west coast conference basketball i don't know who is stay up late for this one or don't go to sleep but again uh san francisco was a team last year i backed a lot um because of their offense because of the pace that they play with uh, and the fact that they were high scoring. And really, they were in a conference last year where there was really only two or three other legitimate. I know Oregon State has now moved in there, but um, there were really an, an, only two or three other legitimate teams within there were, were, were Gonzaga uh, and St. Mary's. So they often were positioned themselves against lesser opponents. That's what we have tonight. Cal Poly is one of the worst teams in the country. Uh, last year, they were absolutely winless on the road, did not win a single game 
on the road. They average giving up over 75 points per game on the season. That number went up on the road. San Francisco plays fast. They were top 20 last year in field goal, effective field goal percentage, uh, and top 40 in scoring. So this is an offense that gets out and plays fast and continues to move. They are not a great defensive team either, San Francisco, but they play with enough pace, similar kind of what we saw. You know, uh, it's like a poor man's version of Alabama from last year, right? They were just so get up and go, get up and go, shoot, 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 score, score, score. Didn't really care what happened on the defensive end. San Francisco goes up that same ilk. So we're going to go over 149 and a half here between Cal Poly and San Fran late on the West Coast. Uh, do yourself a favor. Don't watch. Just go to sleep and then wake up in the morning with a winner. Okay, there you go. Don't even need to watch this one, Mark Zinno says, as he's going over on Cal Holly, San Francisco, smash that like button if you're rolling with Mark Zeno. We will return to college basketball in just a moment for our show Best Bet. But first, yes, Maction kicks off. Conference USA, I thought, did a very poor job of holding down the weeknight slate in the month of October for college football. We all know there is only one conference that does weeknight football well, and it is the Mid-American Conference a school that no one chooses to go to, but uh, they do give you a diploma if you stay for four years, Mark. I can tell you that <laughs> from experience. And uh, we are going to talk about Miami and Ball State. I have never – Ball State is one of the few Mac schools I have uh, never visited. I have visited Miami uh, of Ohio before. It's a lovely campus in Oxford. Uh, the weather is not supposed to be lovely in Muncie tonight, Muncie, Indiana. As a matter of fact, both of these Mac games – uh, are supposed to be impacted by weather. That is why we have seen the total drop. If you caught the Power Five, I said I like the under full game for Miami, Ohio, Ball State. But I'll give you a little different look here on the Power Five. I like Ball State's team total under. This is a team, Mark, that I understand, okay, has gone over in seven of eight games, the Cardinals, okay? But that one under, okay, I told you it was going to happen that they would go under when they faced Vanderbilt. That game did stay under. It was a 24 to 14 final. I think similar to that, we see the Ball State offense struggle to score here. Miami has a very good defense. What did they do last time out? Well, they held Central Michigan to seven points and 168 total yards. Top 25 scoring defense in the country, the Red Hawks are 19.9 points per game allowed. They let Central Michigan in that last game, run one play on their half of the field in the second half. Dominant defensive effort. They're allowing just 4.1 yards per play so far in four conference games. So I think Ball State really struggles to move the ball here, and I would take them under their team total uh, of 16 and a half. Again, this game goes under. I think the underdog's not going to score many points. So that's the way I look at that. Uh, wind gusts, by the way, up to 30 miles per hour, reportedly, uh, looking at the weather forecast. That uh, That's a problem when you when, if for passing the football, I think. Thoughts? I mean, everything you said is quite accurate. So I'm here, I'm here for it. That. That, was, that was a lot nicer than some of the things you said about me earlier. I'm still, still a little well, hurt by that. Yeah. I had to explain yesterday on Wager Talk today that this is such a good show because I make fun of you for 15 minutes and everybody accepts it because you're an easy target. So there you go. Nice, nice guy. Show sure. for work. Give you, you, you give you a nice professional a effort. Yeah. Well, All right. That's very loosely defined professional. Yes. I mean, you did just grab a, a broomstick <laughs> handle before. Never mind. That, that was bad. Maybe, maybe we edit that out. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, I don't know. I've left that part out. Okay. There are things we well, can do, we're right things we can do off camera. Let's, let's do that off camera next time. <laughs> okay. All right. I thought it was funny at the time. Okay, All right. Advice. Anyway. Yes. Okay. You know what else is funny? Um, how bad Texas Clarence? Tech is going uh, uh, gonna to win tonight. Uh, Texas yes. Tech, we like them to win big hey. over Bethune Cookman. This is our show. Best bet. Uh, Red Raiders can name the score here. Right, Zeno? You'd think so. I mean, look, you, this kind of profiles as a game where you're taking a top 25, top 20 team in the nation, Texas Tech, against a very bottom 50 team, easily, you know, 300 or worse in the country in Bethune-Cookman. Um, Texas Tech uh, plays with a lot of pace. They could shoot and score. Uh, and Bethune-Cookman themselves um, kind of will their, – their pushed tempo style will create more possessions 
which means Texas Tech will have a greater chance to score. Um, Bethune Cookman last year didn't shoot the three well at all. They were bottom three, bottom 50, under 300th in the nation at three point rate, uh, three point shooting percentage, rather. So this is very much a spot here where as long as Texas Tech takes the game seriously, as long as they, you know, want their starters to actually get, you know, some joints, you know, working and, and move and try to run some things early on, th- they should easily win this thing by 30. Um, th- there's not a world where Bethune Cookman can catch up. So um, you, you're looking at a Texas Tech team that should get close to 90. If they do, we should be okay because I don't see Bethune Cookman getting much closer to 60. I mean, that's kind of when you say name the score. I think 90 60 is kind of where we are when it's all said and done, give or take a few on each side here. But um, Texas Tech, obviously, going to be a, a, a very good team this year, both offensively and defensively. And uh, I expect that they roll tonight. Lay the wood with the Red Raiders. That is our show. Best bet. Comment down below with your thoughts on that one. Smash that like button if you agree. Let us know what you're betting on this limited Tuesday card, whether it's Maction or college hoops. Now, it is Tuesday, Mark Zinno, last I looked at the calendar. And when it is Tuesday, that means $5 best bets from all of your favorite handicappers here at Wager Talk, including Mark and I. Last week, my $5 play was SMU minus seven and a half. I play one very easily. They were up 28 at halftime, 37 in the fourth quarter. Got another 4% best bet locked and loaded for you right now at my page, wt.buzz slash bp. Uh, and if I may, Mark, I will point out, I do have the number one record in college football this season still. Three and one last Saturday, 45 and 22 last 67, plus 75.4 units. That includes a 9-2 and two run with plays rated 4% or higher. Now you may please take this time, have the stage, sir. To- there you go. Thank you. Thank you. It's unbelievable. Thank unbelievable. You. Hi, the I have stage a play is yours. Right a $5 play in college football, okay? Go buy it. WT.buzz slash MZ. There's my self-promotion, right? That's it. That's all you need to know. Like, I, I don't know what else to tell you. My five, My $5 play last week, it was wrong. Why? Because Army ruled out Bryson Daly at about 10 a.m. Saturday morning, so Army had no shot to cover the first half number. Done. Okay? Snap the streak of four consecutive $5 plays I got right. Okay. Who freaking who? You guys with this promotion, it's got to stop. Across the board. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. I think they do. I'm going to buy no, your $5 don't. play now because I'm scared. should. I, I might <laughs> come to your house and beat you. I already know what it is. You should buy it. Uh, yeah. All right. Because <laughs> I told you what it was. Just buy- yeah, well, why don't you just tell me what your $5 play is? Uh, but if you'd like to find out, again, head on over to wt.buzz slash MZ. That is a little bit of us, oh, not me, five uh, to conclude the program. Yes. All right. That's going to do it here on what I'm sure really? will be a quiet night in America. Yes. What else do we have to talk about? We've given out our three plays. We've promoted. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I will oh, tell you this much. Oh, no. There is something. Oh, no. that, listen, I had a phone call with my mother yesterday. And uh, one of the many times she reiterated to me that, uh, Mark, you need help. And um, I said to her, <laughs> and I, I suggest Mama that if you guys, Yes. If you guys are in a place that has an offshore book that offers you any sort of odds on the outcome of the election, do what I did. Hedge your happiness. Bet the opposite side of what you voted. And no matter what happens, you'll have a smile on your face. You're either going to have some money or you're going to have the outcome you want. So whatever side you voted, find an offshore book that has odds for the election and just bet the other side. Can't lose. Can't lose. Smart, what right? A ticket. What a ticket we would be, by the way. Well, yeah, you know, this, this, I mean, obviously, I'm the president. You're the vice. I mean, you're you are my bitch. Yeah. So uh, yeah. you, you have to be second. That was completely uncalled for. Well, that would be incredible. Be Listen, you're scared of me. You can't be first in charge if you're scared of me. That's what your marriage is for. <laughs> Get out of here. That stuff. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, Abuse I take on this show. All I right. Love you, baby. You know Subscribe I love to the Way to Talk YouTube channel. Comment. And everybody vote. By the way, vote. I don't it doesn't matter who you vote for. You need to vote. 
That's the vote. Because you get out of work with pants, though.